What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great night, a great weekend. We've got free agency rolling upon us. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Always excited for this time of year. Hope you're enjoying the offseason, staying patient for the time that is to come. Now, Wednesday is the official time for free agency to begin, but we know tampering period begins tomorrow. So, Excited, and I will keep you up to date with everything that is happening. But I am going through each position. We've gone through the rest of them tonight. We're finishing it up with the secondary. Right now, I've got cornerbacks. Later tonight, we'll be dropping safety. So let's go, baby. But I've got the full list. So whether you're an Eagles fan or a fan of anyone, you'll be able to see all of the free agent cornerbacks. Then I'll show you the Eagles cornerback situation, who's under contract, who's a free agent. Then I will show you the top 10 free agent targets for the Philadelphia Eagles. But without further ado, I thank you again tuning in and i'd love to hear your thoughts who your top picks are here who you like from these lists whatever your thought process may be let's get it going baby here you go let's start it off full list of cornerbacks and there is a plethora of these guys some starting caliber backup guys i've got them uh split up i've got the restricted guys the exclusive rights guys i've got nickel corners i've got everybody for you so let's jump right into this and start it off with the exclusive rights and the restricted guys so you know under three accrued season is on the right there, exclusive rights guys, and they pretty much sign for the minimum or they don't play. So they'll be back with their teams. And then the restricted guys, they have to get something in return. The team that is, if another team signs them and they don't, uh, you know, match that offer. So those are the restricted and exclusive rights free agents. Now on to, we've got nickel corners. These are the guys that played nickel corner, not to say they can't play outside, not to say that some of these guys that I'm going to be showing you that played outside cannot play nickel corner. Now, these were the guys that were playing that last year. And you see Bryce Callahan kind of falling off. Um, TJ Carey uh, still got some talent there. Got Justin Coleman, maybe some familiarity there with Sean Desai. Uh, definitely uh, some talent. Kyle Fuller, not the same player he was a few years ago. But uh, definitely, again, some talent here. Trey Herndon, Will Harris, Danny Johnson there. Uh, Kayshawn Nixon, Kayvon Seymour, ex-Eagle, Chandon Sullivan, ex-Eagle. So a lot of guys, if you're looking for a nickel corner, which the Eagles have a Vontae Maddox, but with his injury history, maybe you look to get a free agent. Maybe you look in the draft. Maybe you trust some of the guys you have there, but uh, you see those were the nickel cornerbacks. Now let's get on to the rest of these corners. And we've got three pages here full, but look, these are the guys that were starting last year and, Again, a lot of talent. We don't know uh, in the Eagle scenario if they bring back Bradbury. We know Darius Slay is asking a lot of things. So maybe they look elsewhere. And you've got guys like Jamel Dean, Troy Hill, William Jackson, Sean Murphy Bunting. I mean, a lot of names. Jonathan Jones, Patrick Peterson, Marcus Peters pictured there. Eli Apple sucks. Uh, but you've got a lot of guys here that if you uh, went a different way, you could still bring in, bring in some starting caliber guys or whoever you're a fan of. There are definitely some options. And on this next page, definitely some options here, too, that you could go with. And some guys that have been starters before, some guys that could be starters. But uh, still, some decent options here. Tremont Smith, ex-Eagle, has some return capability. See Josh Jackson, Greedy Williams. Some guys that haven't necessarily lived up to their you know draft pick status. But is what it is. Maybe in the right you know situation, they could pan out. Nice. see guys like Amani or Arawarie. Got Duke Shelley. They have been starters. So, uh, look, uh, definitely some options there. And then on this final page, you've got, and uh, you saw a picture there, Artie Burns, we'll talk about, uh, but Chris Boyd, Xavier Crawford, Rashad Fenton. So, you've got some backup corners. Uh, Sidney Jones there, uh, trying to still find his way. Trayvon Mullen, and then Isaac Yidem, and then uh, Jawan Williams there as well. So you've got a bunch of options there. You see the full list of corners. So if you're a fan of whoever, you see your options out there. Now, as an Eagles diehard fan, we're going to talk about the Eagles cornerback situation here as we get ready for free agency. So let's take a look. We know Darius Slay, and he didn't ask for a trade. So I keep trying to reiterate this. This is part of the process with his you know, agent. He's going to try to find the value and show the Eagles and hope that they give him the right extension or restructure or whatever they're going to do to save cap space. But he is way too expensive in that 26.1 cap hit. You know that that was coming up. I tried to warn, I made the videos about it, but Hey, it is what it is. We'll get it figured out. I think he will be back, but a lot of people, you know, want to push the narratives that he will be gone. I think, you know, 
it's just part of the process here, guys. This is a business. So he'll be back. Uh, but James Bradbury, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. So we'll see what the priority is here. If CJ Gardner Johnson leaves, do you still have the money for Bradbury then? Now, you could strap yourself and try to figure out long-term deals with some of these guys, but some of them getting older, I would try with CJ Gardner Johnson. We'll talk about that with the safeties. But you see here at corner, uh, look, beyond Slay, obviously I love Avante Maddox, uh, dealt with some injuries, but if he stays healthy, he's one of the best nickel corners in the game. Then you've got Zach McPherson, hopeful that he develops a little further, got him in the fourth round a couple years ago. Josh Job really liked him and Mario Goodrich as undrafted kids. Job actually made the active roster, so like to see, you know, as a versatile defensive back, what he can do. And then Josiah Scott as well helps as a versatile defensive back. So I know a lot of people can outstand him, but hopefully we bring in some guys uh, through the draft, maybe a free agent or two to compete here if James Bradbury leaves so that you're not feeling too grim about it. And look, Bradbury was one of the best corners in the damn game last season. So you can't be mad at him for wanting to go and get his money if he does leave. Uh, but there are options that the Eagles don't just fall off a cliff here that I think Sean Desai could definitely use. So we're going to jump in to my top 10 free agent targets at corner. I would love to hear your thoughts, your top 10, your top five, top three, what you think of my list, whatever it may be. Love to hear your thoughts, but cornerback could be very, very important for the Eagles. So I struggle with this number 10, whether I was going to put Marcus Peters or Rocky Asin. I know that sounds like, wait, really, but Marcus Peters, I'm just not really a fan of. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, look, this will be his ninth year and uh, not the same player he was. He's still got some left in the tank. I'm not saying that, but I've just never really been a fan. And Rocky Asin, I thought, obviously, you know, with his injury history, that's a tough one too, but a little bit younger. So eh, it is what it is. But Marcus Peters, he could come in and, you know, be your number two at least. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be against it. If it happened, I would definitely get on board with it. I'm just... Just not a big fan, but that's my number 10. And he's definitely a talented corner. And then at number nine, Shaquille Griffin, somebody, you know, who a third round pick, I think has a lot of talent. If unlocked, he could do a lot of things. And I think for me, you know, the Eagles should definitely look into adding someone like a Shaquille Griffin. If you lose any of those guys, but you should also look to the draft. It, you know, you don't just rely on having him, but I think it would be a nice number two to have. And I, I think that, he has shown that he's definitely a reliable corner in his six years. Now, up next, Artie Burns. This is somebody who definitely did not live up to first round expectations. And, you know, in Pittsburgh, and then, of course, going to Chicago and then Seattle. And if you notice the trend of Chicago to Seattle, that was Sean Desai he was following. So uh, obviously, Sean Desai likes what Artie Burns does. And I think they definitely were finding ways to use him there in Seattle. And he was starting to really fill out and some of these guys take time and he's only 27 years old but I think you could find him at a decent price and I think that with that familiarity with you seeing there that he followed Sean Desai Sean Desai you know because of Sean Desai is why he followed him he really you know is was able to bring out the best in him so I think with him being our defensive coordinator that would be a great pickup and I don't think it would cost you that much now up next another guy that did not live up to, and, you know, second round pick. This guy isn't first rounder, but uh, he is 6'2", 185 pound now. Obviously not that heavy, but a very talented young man. Needs to stay healthy, uh, but he's had his issues for sure. He, ne he definitely needs to grow, but with his skill set, with his size, you need to be able to unlock him, and I think Sean Desai would be the perfect guy to be able to, whether you use him in certain situations as a nickel you know, a box safety, a lot of different things you could use uh, Greedy Williams for, use him as a free safety. A lot of ways, I think that this kid, with his skill set, you could unlock it. Uh, I would be all for it because I don't think he would cost you that much. Now, up next, before we get into that top five, we've got Patrick Peterson at the right age of 32. But look, at 32, he's still got a lot left in the tank, and I really like what he was able to do. And I've always been a big fan of Patrick Peterson. Now, He's clearly not the same guy he was. He has played 12 years now, so that's going to happen. But I think as a cornerback, too, you remember when we had, um, you know, uh, Steven Nelson here. I think, you know, that was a great way to have, you know, somebody next to Darius Slay. And you saw how well he looked next to Slay. But, I mean, he's a good corner, too. But James Bradbury, it will be a big loss. But clearly, uh, cornerback two replacing that would be much easier than cornerback one. So hopeful that we keep 
Darius Slay there. But Patrick Peterson, I think, would be a great fit with Sean Desai. And, uh, you know, having a veteran in the room, maybe he could help some of those younger guys develop. Now, into the top five. I know this is going to be uh what? Uh, but uh, Keyshawn Nixon, man, I really like this kid. 5'10", 200 pounds. Not the greatest nickel corner. Didn't get many reps on defense, but uh, he is great in special teams. He can help you as a kick returner, punt returner. And that's somebody I think Sean Desai could definitely develop and have as depth. So you get yourself a guy that can help as a nickel corner behind Devontae Maddox, but he also helps you in the return game. So you kill two birds, one stone. Undrafted kid, uh, went to Arizona Western and South Carolina. And I think that, you know, for me, 25 years old, there is still a lot to find out about this kid with his talent and skill set. You could definitely find a way to use him on defense, and he wouldn't cost you that much. Great in the return game. Because of that, maybe cost you a little bit more. But, man, I'm telling you, I think he would be a fantastic pickup for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, up next, getting into some real deal safeties here. You've got your or cornerbacks. Sorry, you've got yourself Cameron Sutton. And look, uh, I think, you know, he's done pretty damn well uh, this past year and then even a little bit in the year before that. But third round pick took him a few years to really find himself. But he's only 28 years old out of Tennessee, played his whole career in Pittsburgh. But I really like this kid. And I think that he could really, really do some things for the Philadelphia Eagles if you were to lose Bradbury. But if you don't, I mean, if, or you're going high in the draft, then I'm not I'm not mad if they don't have one of these top-tier guys. But again, this is important for the Eagles because we don't know if or what is going to happen with both of the top two corners we had there. So let's jump into this top three in a second here, but I would love to hear your thoughts so far. How do you feel about those guys you saw? Who would you add to this list? Who do you think the top three is going to be? I know this isn't live, but while you're watching it, let me know how you feel about this. Always down to talk some birds with you. But let's get into the top three here. And not a popular name, I think very underrated in this league, but Byron Murphy Jr. from Arizona played, uh, you know, his four years. His rookie contract is up now, a second round pick in 19, but he was, look, pick 33, the first pick of the draft there, or of the second round of the 2019 draft. And look, I think he has done great the last couple of years, especially, but this year, uh, really great. So 5'11", 190, a versatile defensive back, and I think he would fit perfectly in what Desai is trying to do. And then number two, this guy, a little bit older, you know, Murphy, he's still very young. He could be part of this team for the future. I think that'd be a great pickup. But Jonathan Jones, if you're looking to draft someone, and, you know, I, I know he's probably going to cost you a pretty penny a little bit here, but I think you could make a smart move where you give it some dummy years. You bring him in, allow him to be the cornerback to do exactly what Bradbury did, and then you have a younger corner in the wings, allow him teaching him, oh, hell yeah, I'm okay with them adding dead money doing that. And he has been fantastic since being undrafted in 16. He's really come along these last few years. He is one of the best corners in the game, so he's going to cost you some money, man. But that it all comes down to, what happens now if you <laughs> retain your corners i don't think that move happens but we're looking at the top guys because we do not know what the eagles are going to do here but you've definitely got a lot of options now at number one jamel dean and this is tough for me to put you know jones or dean here because i think jones is better but dean is younger 26 years old out of auburn and you know they're both going to cost you a little bit here maybe him a little bit more because he is younger but I think Jamel Dean, man, he is really talented. And I think the Eagles, if you're going to lose one of those top guys, you don't want to draft a corner because, I mean, it's been like 20 years since we've effing done it. So, God help us all. But uh, I hope they do. I hope they go after a corner in the first round here with one of those two picks. Uh, we'll see what they do if they trade out of one of those picks, trade up. Oh, man, I am very excited for this draft. But uh, those were the top 10 free agents, the full list of free agents, the uh, Eagles cornerback situation. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of that. But if you got anything from this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. You can always subscribe down below. I will be dropping the safeties video later tonight. So hope to hear from you then, or if you're watching tomorrow, whenever the hell it is, but let's ride. It's Howie season, baby. So thank you for taking the time. Have yourselves a great rest of your night, but until next time, I am Jimmy Smith. And this is on the road to victory. You stay safe out there, and as always, go birds!